Somebody got a new antenna. Stick around and we'll get right to it. Real quick before we get going today, I've got to give a shout out to these guys. They're my latest patrons over on Patreon. If you'd like to help support the channel, I'll leave a link to Patreon down in the description below. Now, if you've been around for a while, you probably know that I'm a big fan of these little roll-up J-Pole antennas made out of twin lead. The one I'm currently using, I purchased off of eBay several years ago, and those are no longer available. So I've been on a search for a new company that can make this small little twin lead roll-up J-Pole. And I finally found it from a company called Three Mosquitoes. Now, they advertise this as a 2-meter only antenna, but we're also going to check the SWR on 440 as well today, just so we know where it's at. So give me a quick second to get this set up, and we'll put the analyzer to it. Now, I have to say that the build quality is really nice. It is just slightly bigger than those older uh, J-Pole antennas that I have, but not by much. So, all in all, I'm pleased with the size and the build quality of this. Let's hope that it looks good on the analyzer, and we may have found a replacement small roll-up J-Pole antenna. I would have tried this on the new mast from uh, Soda Beams, but some of you guys have told me that the carbon fiber has some impact, at least, on uh, the SWR reading. So I didn't want to put anything on here that uh, might give us a negative impact. So we'll just go ahead and use... Tell you what, Better not put it up that far. We'll just go ahead and use this one from TN07 since it's a nice fiberglass mast. Let's grab the analyzer and see what this thing looks like. So I want to take a few different readings on the 2 meter band. I'm going to start at the bottom, hit the middle, and then check the upper end of it. So the first reading we're taking is at 144 megahertz, and that's not too shabby. Uh, 1.87 for the SWR. And with the sun, I'm never going to be able to get this, probably the camera, to uh, read this display. So I'll take some pictures here over in the shadow, and uh, we should be able to pop those up on the screen for you. Let's go ahead. That's 144. Let's go ahead and move up to 146. And at 146 megahertz, I'm getting roughly the same, 1.89 to 1. So we'll go ahead and snap another quick photo of that one so we can overlay it next. And let's go ahead and try the top end of the band at 148. So far, it's looking best at the top end of the band, 148 megahertz, and I'm getting 1.53 to 1. So we'll go ahead and snap a quick photo of that so we can overlay it onto the video. Now, they don't really advertise this uh, for 440, but I do want to check the SWR and just see what it looks like. They say it kind of works okay, I think they're wording on their website, but let's go ahead and double check it and just see what it looks like on the meter. So at 433 megahertz, I'm getting about 2.6 to 1 uh, is a rough estimate of where that's coming in at. So, you know, it, it's not great. It's not the best antenna uh, on 440, but will it work? Yeah, we can probably make that work. We're going to have some losses in it, but I don't use 440 that much, so it's really not that big of a deal to me personally. Now, your area, you may use a lot more 440 than I do, and that may be a lot bigger deal to you. But again, remember, they don't really advertise this as a 440 antenna. Let's go ahead and check the middle of the band, uh, somewhere maybe around 441, and it's getting worse the higher we go. So at 441 megahertz, we're getting about 3.2 to 1. So, not, uh, not great by any means. And interestingly enough, at 450 megahertz, we're getting about 2 to 2.1. It's kind of bouncing back and forth between the two numbers. Now, even with the numbers not looking great on 440, I bought this thing uh, primarily for 2 meters. Can I use it on 440 in a pinch? Sure. Is it going to be the best performer? Yeah, probably not. But again, they don't advertise it as a 70 centimeter antenna they do offer this in two different versions i bought the small one because i was looking for something super small and compact that i could fit in my edc kits uh, this is the 300 ohm twin lead they also offer this in a 450 ohm twin lead so a bigger uh a, a bigger twin lead similar to the n9 tax antennas so i want to get this thing out into the field i'll probably do a head-to-head -head comparison against this and that old nelson antenna that i have and just see how it stacks up but there's a quick look at it so far i'm enjoying it bill quality is great the price is right as of the time of this recording it's 35 bucks if you found this information helpful, be sure to leave us a thumbs up before you head off. We will see you guys on the next one. Until then, 